Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this look right here. So if you guys want to learn how to achieve it, just go ahead and keep on watching. I already have one eye done. I knew I wanted to film today, but I didn't know exactly what look. I didn't want to waste time on camera like trying to figure out what I wanted to film. So I just decided to just do one eye off camera and then just film the other eye, show you guys exactly what I did. First of all, I want to say excuse this pimple. Um, I've been so stressed out lately. I've been gone from YouTube about six weeks now. There are reasons, but nothing I could really talk about on camera. I wish I could talk to you guys about what's going on. I know a lot of you guys could probably relate. But yeah, I do have 70,000 people on my channel. And a percentage of that is people that I know, people I go to school with, people I've gone to school with, people that know my family. So i just rather not, you know, I don't need anyone talking to me. Other than that, I just have I just have a lot of stuff going on. I've been super busy with school, like I've never been this busy, but yeah, I'm getting through it. I'm trying my best. Sorry for the long little intro thing. We're just gonna go ahead and get on with this look. Oh my gosh, this rain is super loud. Like so I'm gonna be using the Morphe X James Charles palette today. I filmed a video with it but I haven't uploaded it. I'm not sure if it's gonna be uploaded before this video or after this video. First, I'm taking a Morphe M433 brush. Honestly, guys, I lost the sheet that comes with the palette, like all the names, so I don't know. I think it's called Skip. It's this super bright neon pink shade. I'm trying to start my eyeshadow and I haven't even primed my eyelids. To prime my eyelids, I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm using the Morphe M173 brush. I used this in the other James palette tutorial that I filmed. But like I said, I don't know when it's going to be up. But I did mention that I got this for Christmas from my sister. And yeah, I, it's really good. The times that I've used it, like I just love the way my eyeshadow comes out. I'm just tapping this in. I'm picking up that pink shade now. And I'm just going to start off by putting it here at the outer corner. I get a lot of comments saying like to explain what I'm doing a little bit more. So I'm going to try my best to do that today. Every time I do my makeup, like I just get so into it that like I feel like people already know like what to do and like I don't need to explain. But I forget that there are a lot of like um, beginners that have no idea what I mean when I say apply this in my crease, you know? But I'm just going to start off by putting it at the outer corner of my eye and then just blending it forward. And I'm doing little by little, adding more product as I go just because I don't want it to like be a big mess. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Again, I don't know what it's called, but it's the one like diagonal from that first shade that I used. I think I have a picture on my phone of the names. Okay, so that first shade that I use is called Skip. And this purplish shade that I'm using is called Love That. Um, so there you go. Those are the names. So I'm going to be taking the shade Love That. And I'm using the Morphe M411 brush. I'm just going to put this on the outer corner as well and blend it forward. Taking this like right at like where my crease is, just on the top. And then I'm blending it like here towards the front. I'm going to pick up more of that same shade. I'm going to focus this in the front now just so we could start creating that little halo eye effect. So I'm gonna do the halo eye part and I'm gonna take some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Mine is super dirty and I'm running low on this. I need to pick up a new one. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna be using the Morphe M421 brush. I use this for all of my cut creases and halo eyes and all that. I like to start off at the bottom and then work my way up to the top. I 
I like to go above from like where my crease is because then you won't be able to see it. So that's like above like my crease. And then after that, I just put some concealer and drag it down. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this little brush. You guys can literally use anything. It doesn't have a number, but it is a Morphe brush. I got it in a brush set. I'm gonna go in with like some shimmer shades. When I did this eye, I set it with this shade, but I feel like the shimmer shade that I put on top doesn't really show that much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the shimmers now. So I'm gonna be using this pink shade right here and also the highlight. Yeah, I'm just gonna pack this on. So now I'm gonna go back in with that shade called Love That. And I'm using the Morphe E18 brush. And I'm just gonna pack this on the outer corner and also the inner corner to like blend the concealer. So for lashes, I'm using the Black Label Lashes in the Style Flutter. Here are the lashes. They're super pretty. I've wore them already. They're literally so nice. Um, they're also super affordable, so I highly, highly recommend them. I'll have them linked down below. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!